Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet! You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Thank you. <laughs> I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia's no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Hmm, roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Do you think the Great Mine was affect affected by our fighting on the surface? <sighs> Let's hope we didn't cause a collapse. Wanna spar? Again. Quick, let's head over. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Oh. To do with us? Eh, yeah, I'm listening. You mean 
mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the Overworld? Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty, and you won't have to rely on the charity of others. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, we'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architects. Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Huh? Is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. 
If you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Outsiders. For friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, the, the. Thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparks said it must have been. Recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March! Everyone! Thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Sparrow, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. You made it. You were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration? Right? <laughs> I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. 
But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. But once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather around. The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. So this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomera particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> it's Jepard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. <laughs> <laughs>